Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aquia for those of you who are new and for those of you who aren't, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be all about how I take my pictures for Instagram. A lot of you guys have been asking me to make a detailed video about like how to take pictures, location. I'll cover it all in the video, but yeah, that's basically what it's going to be about. Um, if you don't know, if you're new here, hi, welcome. Um, my name is Aquia uh, and on this channel, um, I do a lot of content content vlogs. Um, content vlogs are basically when me and my friend Bethany follow her, subscribe to her YouTube channel because duh. Anyways, but um, content days are when me and my friend Bethany just seek out locations and we go out and we take pictures. We usually do like two to three outfits um, and just take pictures to um, grow our Instagram accounts, grow our platforms essentially. We started consistently in November, but once it hit December, like we really started going crazy. Obviously for us, we're not just taking pictures for fun. Obviously there's fun in taking pictures, but that's not the reason why we're doing it. What? That didn't make any sense. Obviously for us, we're just not taking pictures for fun. We're trying to go our Instagram accounts or trying to go our platforms on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. So, you know, the more content, the better. And so far we've been growing a lot lately. So yeah, being consistent does work. But yeah, I'm not gonna ramble too much. I have my notes here, literally, cause like a lot of people have been asking me. So I like literally just wrote down all these notes well it's not a lot but i like, got one page two pages in a third page of notes okay so hopefully i answer all your questions i think i do so if you're interested keep on watching um i feel like that was a long intro Oh, and before we get started, the first half of this video is going to be like all my tips and tricks. And then the second half is going to be an actual like vlog, content day vlog. So you guys can see me and Bethany in action. I just thought that would be interesting to see. So yeah, let me know if you guys like that. But moving on. So the first thing I would say that it's most important when you're taking pictures will be safety. If I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes. Safety is my number one um, thing when it comes to taking pictures. You always want to make sure you're in a safe location. Um, you want to, you always want to make sure you're not somewhere sketchy so you don't get kidnapped and you know, trafficked because people are crazy. Okay. People are literally crazy out here. When it comes to safe locations, I would say schools, community centers, libraries. Um, I like using, um, like the outside buildings of like schools and community centers because like most of the time it's just a plain brick wall and if I'm doing like a casual outfit that's perfect for me um but yeah so I like to use those when it comes to like simpler outfits or more casual outfits um once again it's a public location you're not going to get in trouble most likely um and for the most part, everyone is welcome. I would say those are the safest locations, especially if you're taking pictures by yourself. But if you aren't using those areas and you are taking pictures by yourself, I would recommend sharing your location with a friend just because, like I said, safety is comes first. You never know. You always want to make sure that somebody knows where you are. So just in case, God forbid, something happens, like, you know, you have somebody to rely on or you have somebody to like be like, are you okay? That's my first tip. So moving on to the second tip. So for the second tip, I have pack your outfits the night before. I like to do this because it just helps me out and it keeps me more organized. I don't have to worry about like packing the day of. I don't usually put together outfits the day of. I like to do it the night before so I know what I'm working with. That's something that I highly recommend. I'm gonna show you guys my content bag and some other things that I have that help me when I'm on the go and taking pictures. So this is my content bag. Uh, it's this big old pink bag from Dolls Kill. Um, I actually have stuff in it because I'm taking content tomorrow. <laughs> so as you guys can see, I do pack the night before or the day before, but yeah, you wanna bring a big enough bag to hold your clothes and your shoes and accessories and everything else. Um, one thing I've noticed about taking pictures, you don't wanna have too many things on you and having a big bag like this, even though I feel like this could be bigger it really helps because I just stuff everything in here and I'm good to go yeah so this is the bag that I have and in this bag I want to show you guys my oh my god okay 
in this bag i want to show you guys this mini bag this is my jewelry bag so this is a traveling jewelry case usually when we're shooting content we do more than one outfit and obviously like you know you can't use the same accessories for all your outfits so i just like to keep my accessories in here and i switch it out depending on my outfit i think i showed this in like my first ever content vlog but if you haven't watched that here you go again oh it's actually organized this time wow okay so <laughs> as you guys can see it opens up like that and i just keep all my necklaces up here i keep all my rings up here i don't have i don't have a lot of earrings i don't like ring earrings at all i don't like showing my ears that's like something weird about me but um more earrings over here so it's just really nice and compact as you guys can see um and it just keeps all your things organized which i love so yeah um it has a second opening and here i keep sunglasses bangles um and that's pretty much it but uh yeah as you guys can see it's just a pretty nice and compact um travel jewelry bag that you can just take with you on the go i got it from amazon i'll have everything that's from amazon linked in the description below i have an amazon store so if you're like wanting to purchase anything that i say in this video it will be in my amazon store which will be linked down below so the third tip is scouting locations Obviously, this is going to vary from like person to person because we all don't live in the same area. But for the majority of people who ask me, um, they live in the DMV area. So I'm just going to talk based on that. So for outside location, Bethany and I just like to drive around and spot neutral backgrounds. And if it's like nice enough and aesthetic enough, we just stop and take pictures there. In the vlog that's going to follow this video, I'll have the name for the location that we took the pictures in. So you guys can like test that out if you want to try that location. If you live in the DMV area, I would definitely recommend the wharf and other gentrified locations in dc they just have nice pretty outside um spots that you can literally just stop and take a picture at so yeah i will say when you're scouting for outside locations always stick to clean neutral backgrounds just because you can never go wrong if anything you'll be like the main focus of the picture because like the background is just clean and neutral when it comes to outside locations make sure that there are not a lot of people in the way you don't ever want to take a picture and you have like just random people in the background like that's just so i don't know about you guys but that's just so mm, i don't like that i remember one time we were taking pictures at the kennedy center and this um man and his family like literally walked into my picture i literally walked over to them and i was like excuse me um <laughs> can you guys move i'm trying to take my picture and they were nice about it they understood i mean like if somebody's getting in your way of your picture just act nicely like i don't know about y'all but like who wants to be in a random person's photo like i wouldn't want to be in a random person's photo so if i see you taking pictures i'm gonna move yeah don't be having random people all up in your picture like that's just so it's not it and also when it comes to outside pictures make sure the aesthetic of the environment matches the aesthetic of your outfit for example if you're wearing a nice fancy dress don't go take your pictures in a dirty garage okay not saying you can't take a dress picture in a garage just make sure it's clean like make sure the garage is like nice looking like you don't want to be looking all fancy and then you're in some dingy garage like it don't make sense like what are you doing but honestly matching the aesthetic of your outfit to the environment can be very hard especially for those of us who live in the dmv area because literally everything is ugly like everything is a brick wall or just some weird color that's just dingy so i wouldn't focus too much on that but at least try to make it make sense when you're taking pictures outside and make sure it's sunny and not cloudy let me elaborate as a fully melanated person lighting is a big deal for me okay i'm just not gonna take pictures in any old lighting if i'm taking pictures outside the sun needs to be beaming okay it needs to be either beaming or golden hour but if it's like dim and cloudy and just like oh like please don't even try like i'm trying to tell you guys you don't want to set yourself up like unless you have additional lighting don't do it if you want to take that risk and take a picture when it's cloudy by all means do you but if you're a browner or darker skinned girl just wait till the sun comes up okay make sure it's sunny make sure that weather app has a sun no cloud just sun but yeah now moving on to inside locations so for inside locations bethany and i like booking hotels um, well, we don't like booking hotels. We only book hotels when we have to. At first, we would just go into the hotels and ask or like just go into the hotels and not ask at all and just start taking pictures. And then sometimes we would get kicked out and sometimes 
we won't but um yeah in order to be secure we just like to book hotels um now i will say that if you are interested in booking a hotel and you and you're using additional lighting like the one i'm going to mention later make sure to call them before you book and ask them if they allow additional lighting when it comes to taking pictures i don't know if you're new here or if you watch my other content vlog you know the story literally me and bethany booked a hotel paid money and everything we started taking pictures and the employee was like no and we were like oh okay i just want to throw that out there if you are interested in booking hotels because hotels are nice for pictures a lot of them have nice aesthetics but like sometimes they have rules regarding professional photography even though like we're just taking pictures for instagram like there's nothing professional about this but okay but if you aren't willing to book a hotel you can always ask the person at the lobby if you can take pictures there there's been about two times i think where Methy and i have asked the person at the lobby um hey can we take pictures here and they've said yes so sometimes you do get lucky and you don't have to book but i'm trying to tell you guys that's not always the case and most of the times you're gonna have to book a hotel to use their like building another place for um nice locations are luxury apartments so um if you know somebody who lives in a luxury apartment just call them up and be like hey can i use your lobby to take some pictures most of the time if you know somebody in that building they're not gonna have a problem with it um the people in the lobby may not have a problem with it it just depends on the apartment one time bethany and i literally was just driving around and we saw a nice apartment and we went in there and we just asked the person at the front desk hey can we take pictures there and she was like yeah go ahead and we were like like thank you like oh my gosh like oh but yeah sometimes you do get lucky but sometimes you don't i don't want to like get your hopes up and be like you're gonna get a yes every time because for the amount of times we've had a yes we've had like ten thousand no also for those of you who like to like go out to restaurants girl if you don't take advantage of that if you pay for dinner best believe you can take a picture but yeah luxury apartments hotels restaurants those are the top threes that i would say for inside locations i actually just thought of one more thing when it comes to taking pictures inside you can always rent a peer space so if you don't know what peer space is it's basically like an app where hosts rent out the, either their apartments or their studio if you've watched a couple of my videos you know that i've rented out like um studios to take pictures and stuff like that for my birthday and bethany and i also also rented out the same studio to take pictures before and what's cool about peer space is that depending on your area you can have like really nice studios i know for us for the dmv area it's kind of limited just because you know there are not a lot of like creative stuff over here but if you live in like california or new york or miami or, or even texas i feel like you will have a lot of options when it comes to like you know booking out studios and i feel like peer space is a lot safer when it comes to taking pictures just because um because they literally have the option to book out places specifically for taking pictures so you don't have to worry about any employees getting your way talking about some you can't take pictures here professional photography professional photography professional photography no because literally you booked the place the studio to take pictures so yeah definitely check out peer space i love peer space well my last and final tip when it comes to these luxury hotels and apartments just ask nicely like it doesn't hurt to ask be prepared for them to say no be prepared to get kicked out but i will say when in doubt just ask bet your eyes that was ugly <laughs> you know when you want something you know how to ask for it so you know <laughs> oh and if you're taking pictures with additional lighting make sure to include that when you ask because you don't want to ask to take pictures here and they probably think you're just casually taking pictures and you pull out this big old light and then they're just like what's going on but yeah just be transparent and act nicely and see where it goes so my next tip and excuse me if this is like in a weird order but my next tip is going to be about posing what i like to do before i go out and take pictures i always put on my outfit the day before and i just look in the mirror and start posing in the mirror i just like to get a sense with what i'm working with um all outfits are different whether you're wearing pants dress skirt shorts sweatpants all that i promise you if you guys practice in the mirror the day before and really get comfortable with yourselves and really like you know just let loose and start like moving around freely in the mirror you're gonna come up with some poses that you're gonna want to try when you actually take pictures also when you're practicing in the mirror you can really figure out what poses work with what outfit and when you figure that out you can take a picture for reference you can just refer back to that photo that you took when you were practicing and then do that but when you're actually taking pictures in the moment um something that 
I like to do or at least try to do sometimes is just to move around freely. I never want to be stiff when I'm posing so I never want to be like okay pose okay pose okay pose okay pose. I think Zendaya like is a perfect example to reference when it comes to like taking pictures. I'm gonna insert the video on the screen of what I'm talking about but you as you guys can see she's just moving around freely. The camera is just literally capturing every time she moves and takes a picture and I feel like that's what you want to do. When you're just standing still and taking pictures you're gonna end up with the same picture every single time and yes that has happened to me before so I really recommend moving around just dancing lightly not like full-on break dancing but like what was that not full-on like you know dancing but like you know like like feel airy like feel light you know Anyways, and when you do that, you get the most beautiful, most like authentic off guards. I'm trying to tell you guys like, yeah. Um, moving on to the next thing, you want to make sure when you're posing, you get different angles. I don't know about you guys, but I'm working on diversifying my feed. So that means like, I just don't want pictures where I'm front facing. I want pictures from the back, from the side, from three fourths, from everywhere, okay? Every angle that I can do, I'm gonna get a picture. I feel like having different angles just makes your photo set just more entertaining, more appealing, more like fun to look at. Like you don't wanna be swiping on somebody's picture and it's like the same thing every single time. Like, girl, you doing the same face every single time, the same pose every single time. And don't get me wrong, I have done that. There's posts on me on Instagram where I'm doing the same face, the same pose, but it's okay. I'm learning, okay? And I'm sharing that with you. You might not refer yourself as a model, but in that moment, you are the model, okay? Whoever's behind the camera is the photographer. You are the model of your photo and the outcome is to get the shot. That's how I view it as and that's how I'm able to stay focused and make sure I get my pictures. Last but not least, when it comes to actually taking pictures. When I'm out taking pictures with Bethany, something that I like to ask for her to do from time to time is to rapid click. So for example, when I'm taking pictures and they're not coming out good or I'm just not in it or like something's just happening or the environment or we're getting kicked out or whatever it may be, I just be like, Bethany, rapid click. And literally, this is what she does. Y'all hear that? Rapid click, okay? I wouldn't recommend to do that all the time, but most of the time, that's how I get my pictures because girl, I'd be tired. I feel like when you rapid click, it provides you with more options and it can help you get candid and cute off guards because like, because the camera is literally capturing how you are moving in that second. So that just makes you have more options in general. For example, I remember when we were taking these photos and it was outside, the wind was blowing, I was over it. We got kicked out of some hotel. So I had to take pictures outside. The wind was blowing, I was over it. I was not feeling it. People were kept staring. So I was like, Bethany, rapid click and literally, Look at this cute photo that I got from her rapid clicking. Literally so cute. And even though it's just like a cute smiling photo, I would have never like thought to pose like that. Like sometimes I feel pressure. Sometimes I, I'm worried about people looking at me. So I'm in my head too much, but like literally rapid clicking got me this photo and I love it. Definitely try that out and let me know what you think. Um, I feel like it works most of the time. And yeah, um, I, I keep saying yeah, 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 yeah. Tip number two when it comes to taking your pictures, make sure that you're always fitting the frame. So when you're uploading to Instagram, you always wanna make sure that you're... So when you're uploading to Instagram, you always wanna make sure that your feet is not cut off, that your head is not cut off. There's been times where my feet is too close to the cutoff line or times where my head is cut off. I'm not posting that picture. I don't care how much I like it, I'm not posting that picture because it's just gonna throw off my feed and I don't like it it's not aesthetic and I know some people don't care about aesthetics if you're watching this video you probably care about aesthetics and that's what we're here to talk about always make sure that when you're taking pictures there's ample space above your head so that when you upload to Instagram your head is literally not cut off at the line but having space above your head just makes your feed look so much better overall I find that when you leave like a lot of space above your head you just look taller and you look more polished you don't look like scrunched up that's what i do and that's why it looks like i'm so tall in all my photos but in reality i'm only 5'8 
Okay, last tip when it comes to like fitting the frame, always make sure there's enough spatial background. I'm gonna show you guys an example. As you guys can see, there's a lot of space around me in the photo. It's not focusing on my camera, but I'm just gonna have the pictures on the screen. As you guys can see, there's a lot of space around me and I'm literally in the middle, I'm the center of attention. This just makes sure that your picture doesn't look scrunched up and that you don't look congested. I just feel like it looks better overall and when you're like scrolling through your feed, you can see that you are the main center of attention in every photo last but not least i'm gonna share with you guys the tools that i use to take pictures with um if you know you know but if you don't know here we go but um that rhymed <laughs> okay so first things first this is my baby right here my newer led light i love this thing like this thing has changed my life i use this to film i actually have two one is like standing right here but i use it to film but one day i don't know whose idea it was it was if it was me or bethany i don't remember but one day literally decided to take it off the stand and like order some portable batteries to use it as a light to take photos and i have not gone back since it probably has died right now but i'm gonna turn it on oh never mind so as you guys can see like this is what we use to take pictures with like can y'all even see me like look you guys can i'm gonna turn it off because i'm blinding my eyes when we're taking pictures in an inside location and we need additional lighting to make our photos pop this okay i am nothing without this light my pictures would not come out half as good if i didn't have this light i'm trying to tell you guys like this has changed my life okay literally i just take it off the stand every time and i use these portable batteries you guys see right here i have two of these so i just make sure they're both charged and i just put them in and we hold it and we just use it to take pictures if you've watched our content vlogs before you guys will see us like literally holding this thing up now let me just warn you guys if you do decide to get this light it is heavy okay it's heavy when you're taking pictures like this and holding the phone like that it can get heavy but you gotta do what you gotta do to get a nice picture i'm gonna have it in my amazon store which will be linked in the description if you're gonna take anything from this video get this light especially if you're a content creator if you're just making videos if you're taking pictures i don't care what it is this will save your life if i'm out and i want to take a picture in the nighttime i'm not doing it if i don't have this now if you're taking pictures by yourself you're gonna need a tripod so the tripod that i have is this jolie can mh1 tripod um as you guys can see this is a heavy duty tripod um the legs are pretty thick for a tripod i don't like flimsy tripods because when the wind blows, that joint is falling over. Like, it's done. Um, I'm not going to open it all the way, but as you guys can see, it has a hook here. And this serves as like an anchor. So you can literally hang something on it and it will be even stronger and it won't blow down. I love this thing. I believe it's about like 60 inches or 72 inches. Um, I just know it can get as tall as me. And that's something I also like about the tripod because I like to look tall in my photos. And I don't have to worry about like kneeling or anything because this tripod is like literally the perfect height for me. And also another cool feature about this tripod, if you see here, this little green thing right here so when you set the tripod up it can show if the tripod is like centered or not so that way you're not getting like crooked photos so that's a feature that i recently found out about and i think that's just super cool and i do recommend if you are taking pictures by yourself if you don't have someone to take your pictures definitely get a tripod you won't go wrong with one i do understand that sometimes you may not get all the angles you want with a tripod but if you're just starting out and you don't have anyone yet a tripod is your best bet um, last but not least is my little handy dandy. This is just um, an iPhone clicker that I use to take pictures by myself. When I'm taking pictures by myself, I just like to hold it in my hand and like kind of hide it and just click, 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 click away. I don't want to use any other third party apps such as Lens Buddy because I feel like when you use Lens Buddy, I know it's using the same camera, but I just think the quality of the Lens Buddy camera is different than my actual camera quality so i like to use my own camera and just use the bluetooth remote clicker to take my pictures but um yeah this will also be linked in my amazon store but yeah that's pretty much what i use to take my pictures whether i'm by myself or with bethany i forgot to mention one more tip um when you're taking pictures always make sure to clean your phone like your camera you guys, I don't know if you understand that your camera collects dust literally every second of every hour of every day, of every week, of every month. So make sure before you open that camera and click to take a photo, you are cleaning your lens. If you have one lens, if you have two, if you have three, 
clean all of them having a dirty camera will literally make your pictures come out grainy blurry and just disgusting so always make sure you're thoroughly cleaning your camera before you take pictures but yeah that's all my tips so far i hope that helped you guys out a lot um let me know in the comments if this video was helpful let me know if i answered all your questions if you have additional questions that i didn't mention in this video please dm me and let me know and i can like answer that for you or i can make a part two if like i need to um but yeah that's all i have for today's video you guys thank you guys so much for listening I think this video is going to have a vlog attached to it. So if you're wanting to see a content vlog where I actually go out and take pictures with Bethany, keep on watching. But if it doesn't, then this is the end of the video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, let me know your thoughts and let me know how I did. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love you for watching. Bye! hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be kind of um weird um it's a content vlog but i'm also going to be incorporating tips and tricks that you guys can take and um just use when you're out taking pictures i usually like to start taking pictures in my priority outfit so my priority outfit is basically the outfit that i'm for sure want to get a picture in so i just put that on first um before i actually go out and take pictures so as you guys can see i'm in my priority outfit i actually made the skirt last night when i tell you guys like my skirt was literally another shirt i cut it and yeah and i kind of made it into a mini skirt i'm already ready so i just need to put on my shoes and um go pick up bethany we'd like to take turns driving so if you have a friend that you can take pictures with that's always a plus so you don't have to drive all the time currently picking up bethany at her area of residence um i'm just waiting for her to come out so we can get going she's so funny look what she sent <laughs> that's how you know she's excited about today okay so um Ew. What? The sun. Ooh, it smells good. <laughs> you know what she sounded like when you just said? Have you seen that? She's like when she, and it's like the getaway white girl on the bus. She's like, ooh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ew. I sound like that. Ew. I'm not going to talk ever again. Like that just reminded me of that. Um, we're, we made it to the location. So this place is called, let me turn my damn blanket off. <laughs> um, this place is called the Carnegie Institute. What? Carnegie Institution for oh, science. science. For science, girl. For? Yeah. For science. Um, I found this place by uh stalking on the internet. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> but yeah, I think today's gonna be a good day today because y'all know parking in DC is horrible, but I almost, you know, went into a one way. Well, I did go into a one way. Yeah. And and then when I turned back around we came back to find parking, this late um man was leaving and he was so happy to like give us and a the spot. Building is literally, it's like literally right, right there. So we don't even have to walk too far. So yeah. That's um sign number one that we're gonna have a great content day. But yeah I just wanted to update you guys. So we're about to um well Bethany's taking a bite <laughs> but we're going to um get ready to go and take pictures and then i guess when we're there i'll show you guys like what we do like how we like posing tips for the um the the posing queen i didn't know what she was about to say okay but you guys will see like um what we do when you're taking pictures another tip that i just thought of if you're taking pictures in the sunlight make sure it's um if you live in maryland make sure it's sunny not partly cloudy because i'm telling you you're gonna you're gonna just keep waiting for the sun to pop yeah. in and out you don't want that make sure it's sunny so you don't have to worry about clouds because some days you get lucky some days it's really cloudy very cloudy like today they actually you know it said partly partly cloudy today. oh it did mm -hmm. but it's been but, sunny all yeah, day yeah yeah so i really think we just got lucky today. yeah but yeah okay we'll catch you guys when we're up there subscribe yeah subscribe <laughs> hey vlog so um we're at the location yeah we're about to take pictures i'm gonna start and take pictures um you guys will see when i'm taking pictures i don't really want to record because there's people around a little bit but yeah i'm gonna start taking pictures so you guys can see like my poses and stuff because people did ask me about posing tips i'm not the best but i'm gonna try to give y'all a little something she is the best no i'm not she's so annoying <laughs> shut up you're not <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No more, um, whatever that thing is. 
What? What is that saying? Oh, Come know. on, think of it for me. Oh, self, um, yeah, being some, self-critical? Yeah, um, or like doubting, not oh, doubting it, talking down on yeah, yourself. Yeah, talking down on yourself, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, how, I want it to be more, more space above me. Get you. Get you. Get you. I double the bed. I'm in the stretch, I'm south of the west. Throw is the best, get home with a chair. Keep up, fucked up, put some dough on his head. Get me knocked down, left another on the left. When it's catch up like a motherfucking train. Get you. Think about the time I had to pass. Don't wanna stick on the side of the switch. Call up a little bitty vibe. Pull up and let out my side to dick. All that you knew, why? We were putting swerving our kind of shit. We've been in running, my little niggas pulling our gun and they hit when they trying to shine. I saw the running, we shooting right spotting they stomachs and leaving my side. Ain't nothing funny when you got up and I ain't no like you find. So as you guys saw, we just took some pictures. Um, the sun is like playing games, so that's one thing with outside lighting. The sun be going in and out, in and out, in and out. Like you can't rely on it to stay out like fully. But I'm about to look through them and see what I could improve, what I could like do better or whatever. Um, when you're taking pictures, always make sure to like look at them as you're taking them because you don't want to just take pictures and then hop in your car and go home because you never know. So just make sure at least you got like a set for your Instagram, for your carousel before you're leaving your location. But yeah, I'm about to look through them now. Okay, so I'm not sure where I left off, but um, I took my pictures um the sun actually like bethany so the sun is in the placement where we want it to be for bethany's pictures so we're taking her pictures but um my camera died so i didn't like start the i didn't capture the beginning of her taking her pictures but i'm gonna do that now so you guys can see but it's really pretty the aesthetic is really pretty with her outfit and everything so yeah bethany's looking through the ones we took already what do we think i love them mm -hmm. like you know when you just know you can do better though mm -hmm. that's another thing you know you can do better do better do yeah better. we literally when i i was telling them earlier before even like before i got you like we don't go anywhere we literally use this day to take pictures like yeah. people might think we go somewhere but we don't so if you have the time i would say like just trying to plan out your content day where you have nothing to do and just um dedicate like the whole day to content making because we don't leave until we get the picture mm -hmm. and <laughs> but, taking pictures is not as like yeah fast and quick as exactly it is yeah it's not what do you want to try differently? I think I just need to get comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> I don't want to record them because that's an invasion of their privacy, but like. Oh, girl, that smiling one was cute. Stop playing. Hmm? That one. You look so adorable. But Bethany, one thing Picking. with taking pictures, not even that. She likes to look fierce in like most of her pictures, but like she's just like the sun a. Is changing. Yeah, so it's gonna come back up though. It's the cloud. Oh, is it? Yeah. I can't even. It's see. a cloud. It's a cloud. Ooh, I can't see. <laughs> but yeah, one thing with Bethany, like, I don't know, like we don't usually record. Like we usually put music over the time, like when we're like taking pictures. But she'll like look through the pictures. She'll be like, okay, I need a main. <laughs> The main has to be like the main has to be fierce for her. And the rest could be yeah. Whatever. That's what I eyes um, closed. I don't care. Yeah, but with Bethany, like she needs one where she's looking fierce. So we don't leave until we get that one. Mm -hmm. So because right now I have like yeah options. Like yeah. this one, I love this one. Yeah, that's pretty. But I don't have main. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. So that's why it's good to take pictures with the person, somebody else, just because you know. I don't know. It's just more comfortable, yeah, I also, guess. Because the tripod, it don't be you up. I was I was taking pictures of. I don't know if she peed, but when I was taking pictures of her, I was just smiling because yeah. it, look, <laughs> it looks so pretty. Like that's how you know. <laughs> but yeah, so she's gonna look through them and then we're gonna take pictures again because yeah, we don't leave until we get our set. Get home with a chick. Get up, fucked up, put some dough on his head. Can't be not 
I left the nut on the leg Run this cash out like a motherfucking trick Yeah, yeah 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 Okay, so guys Right now, we're still waiting for the sun. Um, yeah, like I said before, that's one thing you have to be on the lookout for when you're taking outside pictures because the sun is gonna play with you. Don't trust the weather app. Exactly. It says 70 degrees, sunny, nah. Some cloud is gonna come and bombard your pictures, I promise you. Like, I'm not even trying to speak negative, but like, it happens every time. <laughs> like, every single time. Like, we were like, literally just taking pictures, and then- This big cloud out of nowhere. Yeah. Hopefully y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can see, but like, like you see how yeah. it's like clear over there and then like la the sun is hidden behind this cloud right here and we're just waiting for it to pass but it's like taking forever and we don't know like what direction on average how long do you think it takes for us to take pictures when everything is in our favor not long at all really i don't think so but give me an give me a time frame. you're gonna disagree but okay. i think when the lighting is right when our when we're not tired when makeup is and makeup is good hair is good mm -hmm. It's just our faith that we just need a pose. Mm -hmm. I feel like 10, 15 minutes. What? You don't remember in the hotel room? When on the bed picture, it didn't take me long. It didn't take you long either. When? In the room. Valentine's Day? Oh yeah, okay, that didn't take long. That's yeah. what I'm saying, when everything is yeah. in our favor. That whole day didn't even take long. That's, that, exactly. That's but so when true. we're outside, we literally yeah. wait on the sun. Yeah, that's true. That, I'll give it to her. Yeah, because yeah. that day, we, ha we booked a hotel though. Yeah, yeah. Hair, makeup, on point, outfits. Literally, literally, it took her on the couch, not even 15 minutes. Yeah. Me on the bed, not even 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'll agree with that And then we were on to the next exactly. one. Exactly, yeah, I'll agree with that one. Like, as much as outside pictures are easy, because one, they're free, nobody yeah. can tell you anything. Exactly. It's, it's just the sun. Yeah. <laughs> so, when it's 100% sunny, go out, get up, get cute. Yeah, take, take a picture, picture. seriously. Get, take advantage of that. Yeah. No matter how tired you are. Exactly. Get that's how we're queer gonna be no. in the summer. <laughs> oh my god, it's funny! <laughs> like when I tell you guys we are ridiculous, we do not go like as much as like we look cute and our outfits are cute, bro, we do not go anywhere. And then I feel I would weird. be surprised we still put on cute outfits because yeah. like, we don't go anywhere. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I'd be like, damn, I can't even wear these outfits out if I wanted to because I already took a picture. Yeah. <gasps> but yeah. Where are you going? Exactly. I mean that's true. I mean, you know, some I have friends. They have birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time. They have birthdays. But um, we're gonna discuss and figure out what we're gonna do. Okay, so we finished taking pictures. Um, I was gonna say that whenever you're taking pictures and you're like trying to do like a full content day, it's best to like um, capture video content as well. Um, That's something like we have to remind ourselves to do because we don't do that often enough. Amen. We try to capture, well, at least now we're gonna try to capture more video content when we're out taking like picture content because obviously we're trying to grow our platforms, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Reels, all that stuff. So we filmed a couple of videos for TikTok, a um, couple of videos that we can probably potentially use for Reels. So I'll say that's also another tip if you're like, you know, out taking pictures, don't forget to get that video girl because you. Yeah. You never know because what did I tell Bethany last time when we took a video? It went viral and Nicki Minaj saw it. So yeah, take you videos. Know who Nicki Minaj is? Exactly, take videos. <laughs> Trust me, take videos. You never know. And post, 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 post. Literally post all the time. But I hope. But you I guys just post nothing. Like, yeah. Post. post quality. And if you want to send it to me to make sure your picture is quality, I don't mind. Send it to me. Send it to Bethany. We'll tell you. I feel like we but, all have work to work yeah, on. Yeah, we do. But we've improved. Bethany, like when I look at my Instagram, I used to take straight selfies. That was it. Don't get me wrong. I, know, I, I still was so love. Confused why you would do that all the time. No, like I love her selfies. That's the thing. Like what you're I'm doing. Thinking, yeah. No, like what you could be doing is probably so beautiful and like all that stuff. But like you can elevate. Yeah, you can always elevate. Like you know, we're not all perfect. We're not putting yeah. out the best quality. Exactly. About, exactly. You know, like everybody can get better. Yeah. And have patience. Like I told you guys earlier, we were. We were taking Bethany's pictures, the sun went away. And if we would have left, 
Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have captured all the video content, the TikToks. Uh, she took more pictures on top of that too. Yeah. So like, it could be annoying. Do I know him? But yeah, be patient with yourself and like, don't give up. Like, you we look crazy like sitting on the steps of like this building just waiting with our tripods out like but you yeah. gotta do what you gotta do and yeah oh, so can i also add something mm -hmm. i would say be patient obviously as you're taking your pictures because you can also like even just waiting sometimes like taking a break and yeah. then getting back oh yeah it. yeah because i'd be tired one thing about me my body be shutting down yeah like, you can see it in my face yeah sometimes so mm -hmm. i would say that too but also patience and like if you're trying to grow your platform yeah Cause it didn't start happening for us yeah we until like, like oh um it happened for us faster than i think it could have happened for other people like it's not always going to be like the first week of consistency then you like boom oh uh, definitely not for us it was like a month and a half ish because it started happening like december mm -hmm. we started being say, consistent like november yeah, yeah beginning of november yeah i would say a month yeah it kicked in but even still, we like, were, we're not anywhere where we, we want to be. But we were, like, one thing I had to give it to was we were, like, really consistent. Like, yeah, it no, was, we actually were. It was every week a picture was being posted. Like, more than once yeah, a week. Yeah, more than once a week. So you have to, like, it, as sad as it is, like, the algorithm, in order to beat the algorithm, you, you have, have to, to overproduce. And it's, like, it can get draining, but having a schedule can really yeah. help you. So... I would say patience and growth as well. Because yeah. Even now, like I tell myself, like I'm ha not, like I'm content with where I am. Yeah. But like I have so much exactly. more to go. Like I just see it. Yeah. For us. Yeah. I agree. That this is just literally step A. Mm hmm And we're just gonna keep going up. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I would say be patient. Yeah. We're being patient with ourselves. Yeah. Because we so. we still have our goals, but yeah. Yes. 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 Be yes. Be patient. But yeah, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe, believe in you. Yeah, we believe in you. <laughs> but um, I hope these tips help. I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get back home as well, and just in case, like, if I forgot anything. But I'm back home, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and my tips throughout the video. I feel like me and Bethany's pictures both came out fire, and we both got some fire videos as well. So honestly, I couldn't ask for anything more. Um, there are good days there are bad days if you're out there if you are wanting to like go into this journey and like you know creating your own content just know that you just got to keep doing it there are going to be times where it's very discouraging like don't get me wrong like there's been times where we've been like fully dressed gone somewhere and like we asked to take pictures in like the lobby or something and they straight up told us no which they have the right to do so but it's like imagine getting ready all that for nothing like a waste you know like i've wasted so much makeup thank you guys for following along i hope that i answered all your questions that you guys asked me through instagram um if i didn't please let me know because i will keep filming videos like this until i answer all y'all questions like for real but um yeah if there's ever a location that we've taken a picture and you were interested in taking a picture there just dm us we we don't care like we will share it with you um yeah i mean it depends if the location is like close to my home because it's like security you know <laughs> but um <laughs> but yeah that's it for today's video you guys <gasps> oh my god you guys oh my god you guys this is wait actually this is the perfect time to capture my boyfriend just sent me a screenshot of my instagram and i hit 12k hours what wow wow like you guys i'm trying to tell you guys when you start growing you really start growing like don't give up i know it can be discouraging i was stuck at 2k to 3k followers for a good like seven months okay granted i wasn't as consistent but when i started being consistent like growth just came don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know if i helped you in the comments share this video with a friend share this video with your content buddy um we love to see it but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye